Hi, in this video we'll tackle a common challenge faced by Confluence users, optimizing and organizing a Confluence space. Confluence spaces can quickly become messy. This can make it difficult to find information and collaborate effectively. Here are a couple tips to help you optimize your Confluence space. Confluence comes with a variety of space templates that can help you get started including Teams, Documentation, etc. In our example, we will pick the Team Space template. Specify the space name, choose the permission settings and hit Create Space. Each template comes with a default homepage and a set of predefined pages, including project plan, meeting notes and more. It is then up to you to personalize the space to mirror your needs. Once you have created your space, now it is time to add your content. You can add pages and blogs directly from the top bar by selecting plus create. Or you can use the left navigation menu and click plus. You will land on the page editor where you can choose from a wide collection of templates. Let's choose the marketing plan template. Once you finish editing, click Publish. You can choose where to publish the page as well as setting the access and editing permissions. With our pages now added, let's go back and edit the overview page. In our example, we kept things simple by adding a welcome message, listing important pages, and highlighting blogs. You can click edit to keep the overview page up to date. It is worth noting that some sections such as the blog feed is updated automatically showing the most recent posts. With more content added to your space, it is important to keep it organized and structured. This is where page trees come into play. Accessible from the left navigation menu, page trees allow you to organize your pages and facilitate navigation. Under each parent page, there are children pages. In front of each page, you have two options. First, you can create content by clicking plus. The content will be added underneath the page. Then there is the More Options button. Here, you have a variety of options to choose from including editing, deleting, moving the page and more. Additionally, at a page level, you can use the a Child Display macro to display children pages as some sort of a table of content. For this, click slash Child Display, specify the parent page, the number of children pages, along with formatting options. As you can see, the list of children pages have been added allowing your users to quickly grasp an overall understanding of your parent page content. Another effective way to facilitate navigation and highlight content is the shortcut feature. Within the left sidebar, there is a dedicated section just above the page tree called Shortcuts. Click plus. Here, you can add your pages link along with the text to display or simply choose from your recently viewed pages. Let's choose the marketing plan page and mark it as important. As you can see, our page is now pinned to the left sidebar. Upon creating your pages you need to make sure they are easily accessible. For this you can use labels which make it easier for users to filter and search for pages across your confluence space. We will use the label new release with each page related to the new product release. This way, if you navigate to advanced search and look for new product release content, you can simply type new release. You will have a list of all content tagged with that label.
When collaborating on pages, it is important to keep everyone on the same page by indicating content statutes. The page status feature is available by default. Click Edit. At the top of the page, select Add Status. Here, you have three options, Rough Draft, In Progress, and Ready for Review. Let's choose In Progress and click Publish. Now if you like to add other page statutes to your space, head to Space Settings and then Content Statutes. You can delete existing statutes or add a maximum of five new ones. The effective management of a confluence space requires the right access permissions to foster collaboration. Navigate to Confluence Space Settings and select Manage Permissions. Here you can grant access and management permissions to individuals or groups of users. The permissions revolve around individual spaces, pages, blogs, attachments, and more. Additionally, if the confluence site is public, access can be granted to external users. This is particularly useful if you like clients for example to access public spaces such as documentations, FAQ hubs, etc. And there you have it. These are just a few tips to a confluence space that's efficient, organized, and user-friendly. Thanks for watching.